Hi all, this is Dr. K. Raghuram Mohan Reddy, Associate Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Right, the course name is Unconventional Machining Process. Of course, here the topic is content uh, beyond the syllabus of this unconventional machining process. So, the topic is Material Addition Processes Part 2. Okay, right. At the end of this session, student will be able to understand the rapid prototyping fundamentals. So this is the course learning outcome. Right. Liquid thermal polymerization. Okay. Liquid thermal polymerization. This one. Liquid thermal polymerization uses the most instead of photopolymer, which is normally used in stereolithography. Okay, so now we are discussing this one. Solidification occurs by heat dissipation rather than by the impact of laser light. Okay, heat dissipation might make it difficult to control the accuracy, thermal shrinkage and path distortion. Okay. So, this is about liquid thermal polymerization. The system employs two jets for the plastic object and the wax like support materials. Okay. The liquids are fed to the individual jetting heads which squid tiny droplets of the materials as they are poured in x y coordinates to form a layer of the object as shown in the figure 1. Okay. So, here look at this. Okay. The liquids are fed to the individual jetting heads which split tiny droplets of the materials as they are moved in x y coordinates to form a layer of the object as shown in this figure 1. Okay. So, here particles collector. Okay. So, this is building head, this is the support, this is the object we made. So, here object and support materials are we are supplying. Okay, so, this x y stays, okay, will give the x y coordinates of the each profile. Okay, the materials hardened by a rapid drop in temperature as they are deposited. Okay, so, after an entire layer of the object is formed by jetting, a milling head is passed over the layer to make it a uniform thickness. So, here we can see this one milling head. Okay. So, in order to get uniform thickness, what we are doing? We are arranging one milling head. Okay. Right. As the milling head cuts, particles are vacuum and collected. The process is repeated to form the entire object. Okay. Right. The wax support material is either melted or dissolved away. Okay. The most outstanding characteristic of LTP is the ability to produce extremely fine resolution and surface finishes that are equivalent to CNC machine. However, the technique is very slow for large objects. While the size of the machine and the materials used are office friendly, the use of a milling head creates noise which may be objectionable in an office environment. Sorry, office environment. Okay. Right. Material selection also is very limited. Now, let us come to this one. Holographic Interference solidification. Photographic interference solidification HIS is, is based on photopolymerization. Okay, right. The idea is that projecting a holographic image of a model in a vat of liquid photosensitive monomer could solidify a whole three dimensional surface at once rather than to build it up by point, by point. 
This process saves the prototype in time. Reported applications include the production of low wax, sorry, lost wax models for copper EDM electrodes. Okay, right. Now, beam interference solidification. Okay, now look at this figure 2. Okay, this solidification happens at the intersection of two laser beams. So, this is laser head 1, laser head 2. Okay, so polymer here cure point. Okay, here we have two laser beams. Okay. So, beam interference solidification, why it is beam interference solidification means two laser beams are interfering, interfering okay, at this point. Okay. So, beam interference solidification is a highly versatile polymer based RP process, okay. BIS, beam interference solidification, in short it is BIS. So, in BIS, parts are created through point by point solidification. See here, point by point. Suppose if we want to solidify this point, next the laser will have to focus here from this end, again from this end, it will be like this. Okay. Right. The laser beams have, the laser beams used have different frequencies. Okay. Right. <clears throat> right, all the liquid hit by laser beam 1 is excited so that it polymerizes upon the impact of laser beam 3, sorry, 2 here, okay, right, here laser beam 1, laser beam 2, forming the part, the z axis no longer needs to be done in layers, okay, right. Initializing the laser beam movements in any set of x, y, z coordinator, coordinates makes it possible to trace the path in three dimensions rather than in two in a small prototype time, okay. The process, sorry, the process has a limited industrial application because of the following problems. Okay, now let us discuss each point. Light absorption that is drop of intensity with depth. Okay. Shade effects of parts already solidified. Okay. Beam intersection problems due to the light diffraction caused by local temperature variation of solidification. Okay. Now Next one, solid ground curing. This one. Okay. Now look at this schematic. Okay. Schematic diagram for solid ground curing. In short, it is SGC. Okay. So figure four. Okay. So here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So first one is mask preparation. So here. Based on the requirement, we need to prepare the mask. Okay. Based on the required shape, we have to prepare the mask. That is the first step. Second one, photopolymer resin application. Okay. So here, photopolymer resin application. Okay. Next, third one, UV light exposure. Okay. So here, UV light will have to expose. Next, fourth one, aerodynamic wiper. Okay. Fifth one, wax application. Sixth one, wax cooling. Seventh one, milling with milling head. Eighth one, final prototype. Okay. Now let us discuss here. Accordingly, the process has two main cycles, okay, the photo mask generation cycle and a layer fabrication cycle. It takes about two minutes to complete all operations 
to make a single layer. Okay, right. The following steps are followed during SGC solid ground curing. First one is CAD files are sliced. Second one, a layer of photosensitive polymer is first sprayed onto the platform. Third one, a photo mask is prepared using electro photography. Okay, right. Fourth one, the mask plate is then placed on top of the platform and object under construction. Okay, fifth one, ultraviolet light is exposed onto the layer which solidifies completely. Next, sixth, the residual polymer is vacuumed for recycling and replaced by wax. Okay. Seven, the wax is hardened using the wax cooling plate. Okay. Next, eighth, the milling head is used to machine the photopolymer to an accurate and uniform thickness in preparation for the next layer. Okay. So, this is the process. And ninth one, the mass plate is arranged and refused after every layer. And last one, the process is repeated for the next slice until the object is completed, completely finished. Okay. Now, secondary operations are required to remove the wax, which can either be melted away or dissolved before the object is finished. Okay. Right. The wax matrix makes it unnecessary to generate extra support structures for overhangs or undercuts. Okay. Advantages. Complicated and large components are produced. Okay. Complicated and large components are produced. There is no need for additional supports. Okay. So, in solid ground curing, we need not give any additional supports. Okay. Next, no post curing is needed, which reduces internal stresses and wrap warping. Okay. Next, multiple parts can be run at the same time due to the large workspace. Okay. And accuracy is good. Path complexity does not affect speed, however, the volume does. Okay. Weight may be inserted anytime to alter the center of gravity. Okay. So, here weights may be inserted at any time to alter the CZ center of gravity. Okay. Lasers can be milled off if they are found to be in error. Okay. Right. Now, let us look at disadvantages, okay. disadvantages of SGS, solid ground. Why it is SGC, okay. This is GC, okay. Right. The cost of equipment is high. The machine size is large. The process is rather complicated and requires high maintenance and skilled supervision. The range of materials is limited. Okay. These are the disadvantages of the solid ground curing. Sorry, this is SGC solid ground curing. Here also solid ground curing. Okay. SGC. Okay. So, right with this. Uh, uh, we will conclude, but at a glance, we will look at uh, what we have covered in the total presentation. Let me summarize. Okay. Right. First one, liquid thermal polymerization. So, however, we have covered this one in the beginning. Okay. For the convenience. Okay. Liquid thermal polymerization. It is LTP. Okay. So, which normally used in stereolithography. 
okay so because of these similarities we have covered this okay next solidification occurs by heat dissipation rather than by the impact of laser light okay right so here liquid thermal polymerization okay right next holographic interference solidification okay, second one so here what is happening his holographic interference solidification is based on photopolymerization the idea is that protecting a holographic image of a model in a vat of liquid photosensitive monomer could solidify a whole three dimensional surface at once rather than to build Point by point. Okay, right. Next, beam interference solidification (BIS). Okay, so here also we have laser, but here we have two laser heads. Okay, laser one and laser two head will interfere at one point, and the point will be solidified. Okay, so here. In BIS, parts are created through point by point solidification. Okay, not layer by layer here. Point by point solidification. Okay, the laser beams used have different frequencies. Okay, right. So here, laser head one, laser head two. Okay, this is the Q point okay, out of this total polymer, right? Next, initializing the laser beam movements in any set of x, y, z coordinates make it possible to trace the part in three dimensions rather than in two in a small prototyping tank. Okay, right. So solid ground curing. Okay, here we have totally uh, eight steps. Okay, first one is mask preparation, second photopolymer resin application, third one UV light exposure, fourth aerodynamic wiper, fifth wax application, sixth wax cooling, seventh one milling, eighth one prototype final prototype will be the output. Okay, so these are the steps. CAD files are sliced. Okay, a layer of photosensitive polymer is first sprayed onto the platform. Next, third one, a photo mask is prepared using electrophotography. Okay, the mask plate is then placed on top of the platform and object under construction. Okay, ultraviolet light is exposed onto the layer which solidifies completely. The residual polymer is vacuumed for recycling and replaced by wax the wax is hardened using the wax cooling plate the milling head is used to machine the photopolymer to an accurate and uniform thickness in preparation for the next layer the mask plate is erased and reused after every layer the process is repeated for the next slides until the object is completely finished okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages that we have discussed okay right these are the references associated to this presentation okay thank you very much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates